Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to create your first C++ graphical user interface with Qt framework. In this video, I will show you how to use signals and slots in your Qt framework because it's a very basic framework and we will use the signal and slot concept again and again with our cute C++ GUI programming. So let's get started. First of all, to demonstrate the signal and slot concept, in the last video itself, we have used this concept. We have taken this button from this design view and for the action perform or for the making this button to perform any action we right click it and we click this go to slot so we used the signal and slot cons concept where our button was a signal and we are performing this signal to slot and the slot was when the bu button is clicked then what happens right so there there are two ways of using signal and sl slots with your cute creator or cute framework one is visual method and the second is with the code so i will explain you both the method so first for this example i will use a progress bar so let's search where is it there is it in display widget drag and drop a progress bar and take a horizontal slider from here it's in this input widgets so drag and drop this signal and now you can select both of them and here is some buttons and you can see layout vertically lay layout horizontally and there are some buttons here so when you select these two together and when you say that layout vertically they will lay out together vertically and then you can resize them so this is one thing here right now when you you just enter into your design view by default this button is clicked edit widget so this button is by default clicked and you can see just next to it it's uh, edit signal slash slots so when you click this button it converts your design into signal and slot view so now when you select the slider and just click it and you drag and drop your signal to your progress bar from from your slide bar to the progress bar it will connect like this so just click and just drop on the progress bar and it will open this signal and slot configuration so what we want is we want when our uh, slide bar value changes or when we move our slide bar so we want this function value change function so when its value change we want our value to be set on the progress bars the same value so when the value of slide bar change it should appear on the progress bar also so i click set value it's taking the value from here and setting the value in the progress bar and i click ok so it has created a signal and slot uh, configuration to our slide bar and this progress bar we haven't 
done anything programmatically we just use this visual method now when you click this run button it will build first so it will open the save changes say save all and it will build your program first see here and once it's built your run program will run here so notice when I move this slide bar this progress bar will also change see when I move this slide bar this progress bar is changing so this is a signal and slot combination okay and we haven't even coded anything it's just the visual method so this was the visual method if you want you can just select this signal and slot and just click or press delete button and so just go here just sorry just selecting again again but uh, so just right click on one of these signal or slot and say select all and once again right click and say delete so it will delete your signal and slot configuration view which you have done on these signal and slots and just go to the normal state which is edit widgets and now your normal form will appear with without signal and slot configurations so now this time we are going to run this program or write a code for this program and it will function as same as earlier which it was running with signal and slot configuration so this time we are going to write a code so what you need to do is just go to your edit view and because we are using main window so our main form is called main window so go to main window cpp file and here we have a constructor and a de constructor here so what you need to do is go to this constructor here and just make a space and here you write connect and it will give you uh, or suggest you the appropriate method so what we are going to use it is this method we are going to use to connect our horizontal slider to our progress bar so signal is our horizontal slider so when we change the value of this horizontal slider it should appear on the progress bar also so our first line of code is UI and then this arrow pointer and you say horizontal slider because we are using horizontal slider and this is our signal so write comma and write signal and what signal we are providing here is the value change value change okay and now for the slot this was the code for the signal for horizontal slider and then write comma and write ui and once again this arrow pointer and now this time for the progress bar so select progress bar so this is our slot so progress bar is our slot it's taking the value so write comma and write slot
and give brackets uh, after this slot and just select set value we need here set value int okay so we write this code connect and in the bracket write ui arrow pointers horizontal slider which is our signal so we provide this signal and what we need to do what we want is when we change the value of our signal which is our horizontal slider it should appear on the progress bar so it's our slot so we want to set this value to the progress bar that's why we have written this code okay and now when you run the program just go here click this green button it will say do you want to save changes yes I want to save changes it builds the program so while building I'm getting an error and it's saying unexpected end of file in macro expansion so let's see what I did wrong here I think the bracket closing is not uniform so let's see here I close the bracket and here I think this bracket I haven't closed so I close this bracket from here okay now it's closed and I haven't closed this whole bracket also so I close this bracket from here and now I think my code should work so remember the closing of these brackets and once again just copy this same line and now when I run my code I save all changes and it's building and now my build is successful and once again when I move this slider this progress bar is changing so we have seen two ways of doing the same thing one by using visual method of signal and slots and one by using the actual code so you can use either of them to run your program so this was a simple signal and slot explanation i hope you have learned something new this time please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now